Hi everyone, welcome to my 3x3 experience and today I'm receiving Nick Sedis from Belgium. Hi Nick. Hi. Hi everybody. Thank you for accepting my invitation. With pleasure, with pleasure. And today we are going to talk uh, with uh, Nick to his uh, basketball uh, 5 on 5 experience as a player. Um, this uh, interview will have three parts. So today 5 on 5 player experience, next week 3x3 three three basketball experience and in uh, two weeks he's going to talk about his team, Antwerp and Belgium team um, the next weeks. So let's get started. Um, Nick, uh, could you introduce yourself, please? Hello, I'm Nick Salis, uh, 3x3 player since 2012. 2014, we played at the Europe Cup for the first time. We played at the European uh, Games and Baku. And since 2019, we're really focusing on, on 3x3 next to 5x5. Five five. So uh, we're number two team in the world right now. And uh, we hope to keep growing uh, the sport in Belgium and keep getting better as a team also. Okay, it's Antwerp, we pronounce. And, yeah, in, in, in Belgium, we say Antwerpen. Okay. But in English, you say Antwerp. Okay. In France, Anvers. Anvers. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's uh, your fight and fight career? Um, I played uh, in second division until I was like 23. Then I became a first division player for a couple of years. But then with the job, I, I felt like I, I reached what I wanted to reach. And then after a couple of years, I... Um, tried to become a notary so i tried to work uh, i started working at the office of my dad um but that 3x3 came came up so it uh, boycotted my plans a little bit uh and, and now I'm, I'm i'm combining 3x3 5x5 and my job so it's uh, it's pretty heavy okay the boss uh, five and five and six three act, uh, yeah. right now yes but now the players of 5x5 are the same time as this month's world tour so uh, i needed uh, to stop 5x5 for this month and maybe next year i'm gonna stop to full focus on the team because i'm not only the player but also the coach from the team so it's it's it was getting too heavy okay and um uh, you play uh, in the first division in belgium yes for brussels and then for limburg united uh, and then when when it was covid <laughs> and i had some free time uh, i joined again at uh, malin and they're now second in the in the first division because of some of my friends play there. They needed some help, so uh, so I joined them for a, a couple of months. Okay, and what what kind of a player, a five on five player, uh, are you? Yeah, uh, much different than what I am playing at three x three. So my natural position is uh, I'm a point guard, a big point guard. I always played with with smaller two guards who are really. Uh, scoring types so that was the, the perfect match in offense I was the distributor and in defense I played on the bigger guards and our smaller guards played defense on their point guards so uh, that was the, the great great uh, match but um, I was versatile so they even played me at the 4, 2 and 3 so I played every position but in my team most of the time I was a, I was a point guard Yes, so it's a versatile. It's a good thing for Swix basketball. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Okay, and uh, uh, have you ever trained a team, coach? Train? To, uh, I'm trying to coach. No, not yet, not yet. But I, I have my hands full now with coaching three x three. So, uh, but not. I've not tried to coach five x five. That's something for when I stop playing basketball with. But with three x three, it's it's perfect eh? because the players are the coach. Uh, you could have a coach next to the court, but but with us, it's uh, it's a player, so uh, it gives me the freedom to to do what we want tactically and also play. So it's uh, for me, it's a perfect combination. Yes. So maybe a swag three basketball uh, could be help you to uh, become a five on five coach. Yeah, true, true. Because I'm I'm learning a lot how to deal with. Uh, with the players, how to deal with their agendas, with their personal life, uh, how to deal with, with their specialities at the court, what can they do good, how do we uh, try to uh, uh, use that as much as we can in the game. So, uh, yeah, so that's something that could help with 5x5, definitely. But I'll see if, if 3x3 keeps growing. I'll probably stay in 3x3 because I'm even better at that, I think. What's 5x5 basketball skills 
or mentality, mindset, uh, help you for Swiss basketball? I think everything. Uh, it gave me a, a general, um, how do I say it, a general education of basketball. So I learned everything. And then now we, we specify things on, on, on 3x3. What can we, the screening is different. The motions are different. But, but the base is, 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 is the same. And then, and then we pick certain parts where we work on that are specific for, for 3x3. So uh, to start as a 3x3 player, it's possible. But to have a education as a 5x5 player is perfect too. Okay. Uh, and um, um, the last question. Uh, um, what are you, you on 3x3 basketball when you play 5x5? Five five? Uh, what, I, what I use from 3x3? Okay. Playing without the ball. It's something in 5x5, a lot of people are standing, but in 3x3, it's so important to play without the ball, uh, to screen away, slip, get open layups, go back door, uh, get open, attack immediately. So it, it, it gets you much more active in the game. And if you use that in 3x3, also the art of screening, uh, when they play switching defense. Uh, so so it, it definitely helps your 5x5 game too. Uh, and you got much more touches. Eh? You just play with three on the court, so you, you feel the ball more yeah. and it helps you to evolve as a player. Thank you, Nick, to sharing your experience more 5x5 five five today. Uh, thank you for following us. And the next week, Nick is going to talk about his 3x3 basketball experience. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.